Okay, I've got the rear entrance flap open on this uh, on my enclosure unit. And if you can make it out, what you're looking at there, this black, I've covered them with some, uh, <clears throat> and they're actually top links that connect up on a farm tractor, the top links that go on a three-point hitch. And if you can tell at the bottom, I've got them mounted to a, I fabricated me a little bracket, and you just put it in and put it to a pin. That's a little better look of it and one thing brings on another then once I had that then I had to make me up some little uh I used one inch nylon straps and some uh, snaps in fact to put them on yesterday and to hold that one and the other side in place on those top links now what I've done with the top links I'll get pictures later I took me two pins and mounted them onto the down tubes of my bike and when I pulled the bike up you can see I've got a wheel chalk there uh, that's not the one I ordered from them I already had a wheel chalk and I just adapted it to this uh, aluminum uh, rail which that comes with the unit now this plate on the outside the checker plate the aluminum checker plate on either side that's part of the enclosure uh, the enclosure worked out well, it is very time consuming to install and get it on there. There's a lot of drilling, nothing complicated, but very time consuming. And like I said, we're looking, I don't know how it's going to turn out inside here with the shadows. But once I pull up the bike, I come up the ramp uh, onto the uh, uh, ramp where the wheels go, run up into that wheel chalk. It holds it in place long enough for me to very carefully get off. And I take this, I take this, uh, top of this link off here, and I had to grind one side off, the side to the left there. I ground that off to give me more clearance on the front fender so it wouldn't get into the front fender on my bike when it bottoms out. But anyway, that goes on to the, uh, pin that I've got mounted onto the bike. I put it up there and I adjust the length of that thing and then at the bottom, the little flat deal is a locking nut. I adjust it, I pull that up, take a little plastic hammer that I keep in my toolbox, I tap it like a time or two and I lock that thing in place. You could haul the bike conceivably with one, with that one link on it because it makes it rigid to the front end of that thing. But then I go around to the other side and I do the same thing on that side. I put it to that, uh, to the other pin on the other down tube of the bike and secure those in place and it is very very secure then but I couldn't help myself I have got and let's see if I can get a picture of this legible okay what does it say cargo buckle that I already had to use in my pickup when I hauled my bike on the back of my pickup cargo buckle is a name brand and what it is is a ratchet a ratcheting strap but the reel comes in and out. Let's see if I can do a better picture.